Well, welcome back everyone to PC Tech Help. What I'm going to do now is a quick uh, overview of Bully Debug. We'll be getting into this, um, not as our primary reverse engineering tool, but we'll be using it quite often. I'll be using both Ida Pro and Oli Debug, but Oli Debug is free for those of you that um, don't want to, don't need to purchase Ida Pro or aren't getting into reverse engineering that that in depth. You can just go to Google and type O L L Y D B G, and you'll get the Oli Debug download link, and just click on that and go install it. Once you install it, it'll be just like this. When you open it up, it'll be all white. Right now, I have Notepad open up in there just to go over the interface here, so you can see everything. And first of all, we're going to zoom up here. This is your CPU main thread. And this is where all your um, disassembled code is going to go to. Over here, in this where all the numbers are, these are your op codes. These right here are your pseudocodes or high level uh, language, or basically what we understand. Um, the computer only understands like this push 70 right here. We understand the push 70 it's going to push 70 onto the stack but the computer only understands this 6A70 right here that's all it stands and over next to that let me pan here we're going to go over here let me get a little bit smaller and fit it up in here lock that these are the registers We've got the general purpose registers the AX, CX, DX, BX and you got the stack pointer and base pointer with the SP, the BP, and then the SI and DI and the IP. You'll learn more about these when we get into them. Over here where the CPA, Z and all that is, those are called E flags. They basically tell you the state of the CPU and what state the CPU is in and also helps out in some uh, arithmetic. Tells you when you're uh, going negative or stuff like that. We'll get into that. Next to that, the ES, CS and everything are, are the different segments in a program. The CS would be your code segment, the SS would be your stack segment, the DS would be your data segment, and the FS and the GS we're really not going to get into until much further down the line. Um, these right here, the ST0 to ST7, those are eight specific registers for your floating point uh, or FPU arithmetic, floating point arithmetic. Mostly the up here the E flags registers have to do with uh, in integer math and comparing uh, like strings and finding out different things whether it's true or false. Down here, all this down at the bottom right here basically is going to pertain to floating point arithmetic. So the STO, the ST7 are your uh, floating point uh, unit arithmetic or data registers. Each one of them is 80 bits long. And this operates like a stack. The same uh, type theory as the stack down here for those of you that know the program stack. The uh, floating point arithmetic uh, units operate the same way. When you push something onto this stack, it goes into the ST0 first. Then if you push something else onto it, what's in here is going to go to ST1. And what you're pushing in there now is going to go to the ST0. And so forth. And it's just going to keep working down. And it comes off in the same in the same manner. It's uh, like FIFO, first in, first out. And below that are your FPU status register up here at the, the first one right here, the FST, and the uh, one below that is the FPU control register. And a lot of times you'll see in, in books and stuff they'll talk about the like these up here would be ST and an zero in parentheses and ST and one in parentheses when you're reading. There's also a C zero in parentheses and C1 in parentheses and that's these four right here the condition codes and below that in this other the control register this near tells you how the rounding of a floating point is going to be done if it's going to round up if it's going to round down or if it's going to round near to the nearest whole number and the 53 also contain pertains to uh, fully with arithmetic we'll get into that later and these here are just flags it's the same flags for both the status and the control ones, the I, D, Z, O, U, P. And they're the kind of like the same se sequences up here, the C, P, 0. There are just the first letter of what that pertains to, like the 0 and the overflow and uh, stuff like that. Like I said, we'll cover that when that time comes. I don't want to get into too much of that. The whole point now is just to learn where everything is and uh, layout 
of uh, I'll leave the bug down here in the bottom corner the left is your regular hex dump and next to that which I always showed you is the stack and it operates uh, first in first out also you can see let me zoom in here you can see that we've already got some stuff on the stack and this is from just opening it up uh, notepad and you can see there's an NTDLL call and a kernel call and um, down here is where we open notepad and it just built up this way and so this stuff comes off like this would come off first this would come off second that would come off third that would come off fourth and and unless you're talking about a function which would this would create a uh, function frame or a stack frame and uh, like I said we'll get into that but anyway this here is just a general overview of only debug and we'll get into the, the menu items up here and stuff like that when we're actually uh, debugging some but I hope you enjoyed it and uh, be sure you com commit all the registers over here to memory and oh I did forget one thing let me zoom back over here this up here actually is interactive the register FPU you can click on that and turn it to the MMX and the 3D now uh, for those of you that you know like for AMD and Intel Intel has the MMX and a AMD has a 3D now and there's registers um, specifically for those two but that's you know getting into a lot of math we'll get into that when we're uh, taking apart a, a packer or something like that but not too much uh, in the beginning it has to be more advanced stuff but anyway hope you enjoyed the overview of Oli Debug um, I'll have an overview of Ida Pro also uh, coming after this sometime and we'll uh, see you then. Thank you.